I hope there's not too much background noise. It looks kind of fuzzy. Oh, I just spilled water on myself. So, today we went to the Lebanon Valley Mall. How would you describe the Lebanon Valley Mall in three three words? Depressing. Eerie. Um, spooky. I would say that's fair. Because from what we saw today, it's a lot of empty stores. Yeah. Uh, not a lot of people. We... As as we are recording this, it is a Friday evening. Theoretically, that should be when malls are popping the most. It was just sad. It was sad. It was. And I have a nostalgic connection to this mall. I have always, like, when we first moved here, uh, that would be the mall we would go to pretty much every weekend so that we could hit up Bozkov's, the terrifyingly large... Like, I feel like Bozkov's is as big as the mall. Yeah. Like, because when you go up those stairs, I, I feel like it really sets in just how fucking big it is. Yeah. I mean, these lighting fixtures alone would make me want to shop here. Like, that's the coolest part of this building, for sure. But if you want to talk spooky, the upstairs of Boss Cops was... Eerie. That is quite possibly... You did a little bit of trespassing. I don't know if I recorded that, but... A light trespassing. Like, not even really. A little bit of trespassing. So the food court's not much of a food court. Uh, there are two places, and one of them closes uh, at like 536. Uh, they got rid of the Auntie Anne's and put in a Fultz's pretzels. Which is like, I've never heard of that. It's like off-brand pretzels. I've had it. It's not bad, but it's, it's no Auntie Anne's. Yeah. It's, it's no Auntie Anne's. Yeah. I am a sucker for mall pizza, and people talk about how good Mancino's pizza is. And I want to be nice here because we are local, but the first thing that caught my eye was a menu item called the fried Italian rice ball. I figured it would be like a tasty little, like multiple little, like tater tots. Yeah. How would you describe the Ital the fried Italian rice ball we received? Ginormous. It was like this big at least. And it was like weird to cut through. And filled with meat? That was weird. Yeah, I I don't know what I was expecting, but it certainly was not. I know, and it was like mostly bread and like a couple pieces of rice in there. And peas. Yeah, the peas were an interesting. Like, if it didn't have the meat, it probably would have been better. Um, I feel like it would have been bland. Because it rice and bread. I would take like cheese over meat though. Like if it had more cheese if instead were, of meat. Was there any cheese in there? I thought a little. <laughs> well, I don't know. I thought there was cheese, but maybe there wasn't. I don't maybe it was placebo cheese. Pizza was not great. Uh, it didn't really taste like anything, and not in a good way. Like, it just tasted... Ugh. Rice balls were not good. Rice ball was Ra not good. Rice ball singular. Uh, I thought there was sriracha for the pizza. It turns out it was ketchup. However, I would like to say that having who who puts who puts ketchup with all of the pizza toppings? Because like fries and stuff, like salt and pepper shakers were over there too. Like it wasn't just people red put pepper flakes. But it was pepper flakes, garlic, salt and pepper, parmesan, ketchup, parmesan, parmesan and ketchup. And ketchup. And I put and like and honestly, it didn't help the pizza at all. Like it didn't I couldn't, I, I could taste the nothingness of the pizza more than I could taste the ketchup, if that makes any sense at all. Yeah. This one looks sickly. <laughs> <laughs> like green, green. The weirdest part of them all was the friggin' church. It is strange. The fact that a mall has a church in it. Like, that's odd. That is so odd. And the fact that the church is such a large... It is bought out, it's like... most of them all. It is bought out multiple stores. The movie theater had a cop in it. I don't know if yeah, I got him on... Yeah. Like, they had a dedicated security personnel in there. I don't know if I was... I snagged him on video. It's kind of scary looking. Yeah. Had, like, an official vest and everything. I will say the one thing I will always fuck with... We went to Bath & Body Works... I didn't record it because there that was that was the only spot that there were a lot of people in. Yeah. Like uh so I did not want to have my camera out. But I am a sucker for candles and I always will be. The Boskov's candles? How do they make it smell like root beer? 
Like they really do. I worked at a candle store, and I I still don't know how they make candles smell like things. So what would you say in uh in 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 conclusion, what what were your thoughts on the Lebanon Valley Mall? Honestly, like it doesn't give you like a mall vibe. Like you don't feel like you're in a mall. I would I would the word I would use is dread. Um, just because you can tell this mall is not getting better. Yeah, and the lights in there are so dim, so it just feels really like drabby. And it doesn't help that they have like a mis like a ton of different kinds of light so it feels yeah. like no matter where you go it always feels a little too dark yeah it's like really dreary in there uh, and there are skylights and that still doesn't no i would give them all like a two out of ten like there's really there's no stores to go to unfortunately that is true like the gnc has been there forever the yeah. shoe department is the only like shoe store left yeah there's friggin boz cobs which is but it's boss cobs I would say the the biggest bummer for me was that GameStop went out. Yeah. Like, and the fact that they they just put a cell phone kiosk where GameStop was. Yeah. It feels a little bit like pissing on someone's grave. I just feel bad for it. I feel bad for it, but I don't want to go there. I don't want to hang out. I don't want to spend time there. Like, there's no place to spend time. There really isn't. Most of the stores there are, like, not even, like, functioning mall stores. Like, it's, like, a CBD store, a truck driving school. A pet store. A pet store. They're putting in a dog grooming A place, dance studio. A dance studio. It, a church. Like, none of those are functioning mall things it's like a business park yeah but in, indoors i would probably give it a, I, I i think i would give it a three out of ten honestly three or four and see this is where me being nostalgic for it comes back to bite it because i i remember when every store was full yeah and now it's just a shell yeah but i would say if you're in the area there's nothing to see don't here go, there's go. nothing to see here uh, there are far better malls for you to spend your time and money at. They're just a lot farther away. They are. There's Pennsylvania sucks. Oh, smart. <laughs> An egg. Oh, we didn't get a gold one. Oh, it's taped shut. <laughs> what do we get? An eraser! Whoa! 